we actually jump into the software, I just want to give you an idea of the two different workflows that we'll be showing on today's uh, webinar. The first workflow is the one that we can see on screen here, and this is all about an InDesign user having a layout that's already built and wanting to get some copy editors to come in and add some copy to that layout. And they can do that by using Go Copy to manage the sending of a story from within InDesign out to our external copy editors. And those copy editors can use Go Proof to enter their copy into an InCopy article and then push that uh, article stroke story back into InDesign and for InDesign to automatically update. And we're going to use Go Copy to push the flow from, from the InDesign user out to those copy editors and vice versa. So that's the, the first workflow that we'll look at, which is um, kind of InDesign driven. And then the second workflow that we'll look at is when we start the other way around. So this is where we're going to start from within InCopy and we'll write a blank story using a blank, blank template. Once we've written all of our um, copy into that blank story, we're then going to push that story through to our InDesign user for our InDesign user to then lay that story out into an InDesign document and then we'll push it back to the to a, a maybe a copy editor or a sub editor for that user to then go in and make some copy changes to maybe make it fit that new layout style that um, they've been passed across and all the way through that process we're going to use go copy in the middle to push the the in copy story from from one side to the other okay so let's jump into the software. So just some explanation on what you can see here. On the left hand side, we have our copy of InDesign. Um, we've got the GoProof panel on screen there and, and there's our InDesign document that we're going to use for that first workflow. On the right hand side, we have a copy of InCopy and this is signed in as Kelvin. Kelvin's going to be our InCopy user today and he's going to receive um, a story shape in a moment from our InDesign user so we can start to go in and put some copy into that story shape. Okay, so if we start over in InDesign, what the first thing that we need to do from our InDesign document is to create what we call a story. Now a story inside GoCopy is a selection of text boxes from an InDesign document. We can do a couple of things with those text boxes. We could say, well, let's create a single story that contains all of the text boxes from an InDesign document. So in, in that workflow, you're saying, let's give this whole document over to our copy editor and they can start to go in and, and add some copy into those boxes. Or we can break that down a little bit and say, well, actually, let's break this multi-page document that we have here up into a number of stories. And we are going to just give this single story, which is going to be the intro, over to our um, in copy user for our in copy user to start entering um, in their copy. And that way, by breaking the document up into multiple stories, we can have multiple in copy users all making changes to um, their individual story inside in copy and then flowing those changes into our InDesign document, allowing for that, that multi editing workflow. So, to create our story, what we will do is select our two text boxes. We use the GoProof Stories panel uh, tab here to create a new story, and we're going to call this um, Intro Workflow 1, just to be sure. Okay, so I can now see I've got my two T's inside um, InDesign. That's showing me inside my GoProof panel now that I have these two text boxes added to that Intro uh, Workflow story there. So what we are going to do now is we're going to send that story shape over to our InCopy user so that our InCopy user can start to um, drop some copy into those two boxes. So to do that, we'll use the send story icon over here in the panel. And this is going to start um, up the, uh, the Go Copy wizard, which will just guide us through that process of deciding who we want to send that story through to. Inside GoCopy, we have um, the idea of, of using baskets to decide where we're going to route that copy through to. So you can see at the moment, I'm currently looking in the San Fran Studio basket. And inside that basket, I've got three different uh, designers. This is effectively the designers basket. And they're all part of that San Fran Studio basket there. We can go in and jump in and manage those baskets so we can move users around if you want to modify your workflow as you go through. In this workflow, I want to send this through to Kelvin. So I'm going to choose Kelvin's basket. You can see in Kelvin's basket, there's just Kelvin in there. So when we send this story through, this is just going to go into Kelvin's personal basket for him to be able to start to drop some copy in. When we send the story over to Kelvin's basket, 
there is a preference on those baskets to decide whether we want to notify those users or not. In this instance, we are going to notify Kelvin, so Kelvin would get an email just letting him know that a new story has dropped into his basket. Um, we can customize the message that goes out in that email if you want to, so you can drop a message in here. And we can also set a deadline and reminder for that copy. So if you need Kelvin to get that work back to you by a certain date and time, then we can drop that into the deadline and reminder there. The last thing we need to do is just to set the status of the story. So where in the workflow is this story going to be? Well, being as it's right at the start, what we'll do is we'll set that to be ready for our copy editor. OK, so that's now created our story. It's packaged them up. It's uploaded them into the GoProof cloud. And as far as the InDesign user is concerned, they can now move on to their, onto their next piece of work. If we jump over to InCopy, Inside InCopy, we have a, a GoPro panel. I'm logged in as Kelvin um, in this InCopy, and straight away I can see I've received this new story that's just come through from my um, one of my studio users from within InDesign. And so to start working on that story, it's super simple. All I need to do is click the Edit button here, and that will download the InCopy article for me, and then it will open it up inside InCopy. And you can see straight away, it's kind of a carbon copy between the left-hand side and, and the right-hand side. One of the great functions of using um, InCopy is that any style sheets that have come from the InDesign document are automatically going to be passed across to the InCopy user as well. So from inside InCopy, I'm going to get all the same style sheets that were present on that InDesign document on the left there. When I'm inside InCopy, I can start typing into a box as, as normal in that layout view there. Or if I want to, we can switch over to what we call the store view which is kind of like a word processor view of the copy. And then we can start obviously typing into this box. And then lastly, we have what's called a galley view. And a galley view should show me where the line endings are. So you can see, I can see where that, that line's just um, dropped down there. If we go back to the galley view, I'm just going to steal some of this copy out of a document I already have. Here we go, so let's grab that. there we go and if we just have a quick look at our style sheets here you can see these are the style sheets that have been pulled in from our InDesign document with the, the heading and, and the subhead if I just want to have a, a look in my story view one of the, the great things about using in copy is that where we need to do copy fitting in copy will actually show us where something does or doesn't fit so if we just bring this down here if I just drop a couple of carriage returns in I can see I've got that copy fit line there so that's telling me that inside the layout view this bit, bit of text here won't be seen anymore because it's gone outside of the text box and that allows me as an in-copy user to see so i can see in here it's dropped off the bottom that allows me to see in here exactly how far i'm over by one line and so obviously we could take those carriage returns out to make that fit again okay so kelvin's gone in he's dropped his copy in and at this point he's kind of ready to send this back over to the studio so that one of the studio uh, designers can pick that copy up and um, see that copy back in their document super simple for kelvin all that kelvin needs to do now is to submit the story back so we'll click the submit button here when we submit the story back we can choose which basket we want to drop it into so it's currently in in my personal basket um, nobody else can see it if i want to drop it into the san francisco studio then i'll choose the san francisco studio basket there i'm going to update my status to say that it's now ready for design and then we'll submit that story back over on the left hand side if we jump back into indesign one of the things that happens inside InDesign, if as a, a studio user or as an, a, a design user i've got that document open i'm going to see that new copy available um, pop-up come up which just tells me that Kelvin has just submitted that story back it's now going to be version 2 um, it just gives me a bit of detail about when he did that and now all I need to do inside InDesign is easily just import that copy and there we can see that's flowed that copy straight back in super simple for me to, to do that to amend if we wanted to now let's say we want to make a design change so let's say we want to bring this in slightly so now that no longer fits what we can now do is we can send that new story layout back over to Kelvin um, for Kelvin to make some copy edits. So we could send it out to a, a sub editor maybe, so we could put it into a sub editor's basket um, and that sub editor can then pick it up and make that copy change. 
in today's workflow, we'll send it back over to Kelvin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to go to the GoProof menu, we'll send that story back out, we're going to put it back into Kelvin's basket, we'll say it's now copy editor in progress, and we'll send that updated design. Again, over on the right hand side now, if we jump back into Kelvin's view, he's got his stories just reappeared. If we edit that story now, it will automatically give Kelvin the updated layout. And straight away, we can see we know it's updated because we're getting this over by four lines just down here. One of the things I didn't mention on that, that last round of workflow is that inside GoProof there is um, file locking going on. So when I'm working on a story inside InCopy, you'll see I get this little padlock icon here. That means that if there were any other users that could see that particular story in a basket, they wouldn't be able to work on that particular story at the moment because I've got it open. So it manages that locking process between different users. OK, so I'm going to jump into my story view here and we'll go in and we'll do a modification to make that fit. So just take that bit of copy out. There we go. And then we'll submit that back again. Put it back into the San Fran studio. I'll say that it's now ready for design again. So again, that's now been submitted, it's disappeared out of my basket. Over on the left hand side, again, we get that new imported text uh, dialogue come up. So we can now import that copy. And we can now see that that's now fit inside that text box. So that's the end of workflow one where we've gone, we've started with an InDesign. We've created a story shape. We sent it over to our in-copy user who've, who's then gone in and added the copy. And then we've done some subbing to fit to make it fit the new shape that uh, the InDesign user had um, changed that layout to. So what we'll do now is we'll switch to our other document. Now that's obviously a blank document. And actually this time we're going to start from within InCopy. So we'll start on the right hand side. And in this workflow, we are going to create a new story from a template. Inside GoCopy, there is um, the ability to create um, a InCopy template. All you need to do is create an InDesign document with the relevant style sheets and, and char character and paragraph styles. You can then create a template from that document, and that allows an InCopy user to select that template and start to enter copy into it, and they'll get all the same style sheets again. So to do that, inside my GoCopy panel, Kelvin is going to go and have a look at his templates. We've just got a single template in there at the moment called GoProof Marketing, and we're going to create a new story based on that template. So this is where I'm originating content inside InCopy, which I'm then going to send over to my InDesign user on the left hand side in a moment. So I'm going to call this Intro Workflow 2. I now need to decide which client and project I'm going to drop this in. This is standard Go uh, proof functionality here. So we have a, a, the ability to break down all of the content based on a client and a project. So I'm going to drop this into the bridge and I'm going to drop it into the InCopy webinar project basket. I'm going to write it into my basket for now because I'm going to start in my personal basket and we'll create that story. OK, so that's created a blank in copy story for me. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to drop some copy into that. So we'll nip over to my InDesign document again. And I'll just paste that text in. So obviously I could just start typing into uh, this text box here on the right hand side. Now, Kelvin is writing this story at the moment in his personal basket, so nobody else can see it. What we're now going to do is we're going to submit this story through to the San Fran studio again so that one of our creative users can pick that up and drop it onto our um, uh, blank InDesign document on the left there. So again, we're going to click Submit now. We are going to choose the San Fran studio basket. I'm now going to set the stages to be ready for design and then we'll submit that copy over. If we jump over to InDesign now, we can see we've got a new story that's dropped into the San Fran Studio. It's currently red, and it's red because it hasn't been placed onto an InDesign document yet. It's just a, um, a templated in copy story with some copy in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to twist this down. I can see I've got some text that I want to place. So I'm going to select my text box inside InDesign. I'll choose the place text option, and that is going to place that story 
from that that we created over in InCopy on the right hand side and it's going to place it into our document here. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add in this text box at the top. So this text box here is currently not part of the story. So we'll add that into the story. And then maybe we'll send this updated design back out to Kelvin. Again, handles all of the creation of the files and sharing with it with our external copy editor to Kelvin. Kelvin can then obviously come in and make um, a copy change and maybe we want to drop the introduction into here. So let's just go and grab that again. And there we go. We can submit that back again. Again, put it back into that San Fran studio, update the status and then submit. And then we can obviously import that last round of changes in. There we go.